<sighs> Finally made it. What's going on everybody? I am the channel and welcome back to a new video. Now, you may be wondering, what am I doing at Carl's Jr. at like 3 a.m.? Well, I don't know. But I can tell you is that this is the perfect transition to talk about fast food. Because, yeah. Fast food to me is the middle ground between homemade food, the good stuff, and going to a very fancy restaurant. The somewhat good stuff. And then right in the middle, you have fast food. A.K.A. Crazy. There is so much when it comes to fast food that it meets the eye. There's, of course, the giant corporations. But then there's also the very small places that are only available in your country. So, basically, the big stuff is mainly my focus. You know, the stuff that are actually, you know, recognizable to everyone. However... There's just a few issues with fast food itself, generally. Like, if I have to wait 30 minutes for some very cold mozzarella sticks, then that's not fast food. I also really don't like the name fast food, either. Because it kind of doesn't, kind of doesn't make sense. But then when I think of a name, it also doesn't make sense. Like, quick food or something like that. <laughs> or junk food. <laughs> I, I could call it that. I mainly say that because... I'm not sure what you're going to get out of a cheeseburger. Speaking of cheeseburgers, I feel like for fast food itself, there are about three somewhat categories for fast food, of course. Now, I will go by each category one by one, starting off with cheeseburgers. They are the icon of fast food. You can't really picture any place without them. They are just a nice convenient way for lunch or dinner. And nothing can say that more than a little place I like to call McDonald's. Now, you know how I just said you can't picture a fast food place without burgers? You can't picture anything without McDonald's. If I had a nickel for every time someone was craving McDonald's because those ads kicked in again, I'd probably have something like, um, about $7.2 million dollars. Because nickels are a lot for just one person, so... But, McDonald's is just so iconic. Even outside of the U.S., everybody knows their menu. Everybody knows that their food is, well, not great, but everyone still eats there nonetheless. Plus, the many things McDonald's does, such as drive people into the restaurant, is kind of impressive. Like a one 2 3 dollar menu, a 2 for 6 they kind of do a lot, so you kind of give them props, even if their food is just not... The best. But hey now, we can't just talk about McDonald's all day. Hell, they aren't the only mediocre fast food place out there. Enter Burger King, the king of... Uh... I don't know. Honestly, to me, Burger King is that one place you go whenever there's just nowhere else to go. Or on a road trip. Their burgers are fine, I guess. I mean, I really only go there for their mozzarella sticks. I think that's the only reason you should go to Burger King, but that's up to you. But what I should tell you is to never go inside a Burger King. Just don't. It's disgusting. I legit feel depressed whenever I go into one. Just, just don't, okay? drive through is way better whenever I get a car. But something that isn't depressing is good old Wendy's. Now... They are pretty good, maybe because of their Frosties. Okay, maybe because of their Frosties, but hey, I like Wendy's, okay? Their premium burgers are alright, but man, is their 4 4 just so great. I mean, you're telling me I can get a cheeseburger, some nuggets, fries, and a soda for only $5? Or $4, since it's under 4 but... Tax also counts too, so that's my premium meal to a punk teenager like myself. Now, of course, there's other burger chains as well, like Jack in the Box, Carl's Jr., Rally, Sonics, Five Guys. There's honestly a lot of burger places that I don't have a lot of experience with. So, to summarize, good, okay, really good, pretty good for B Overall, though, the cheeseburger is kind of a mixed bag when it comes to fast food. They can be really mediocre, but also pretty good. But hey, they aren't the only fast food around here. I'm sure there's another iconic food out there. Hmm. Oh, yeah! Pizza! 
I do not think you need an introduction on what that is. However, pizza is in this weird paradox where it doesn't know if it wants to be a fast food chain or a restaurant generally. I mean, on the one hand, you have stuff like Little Caesars and Blaze Pizza, really good by the way, where you can just go in, order your pizza, and then boom, magic. And then you have places like Red Robins and Me and Ed's where you can just go in and eat. But then there's also the middle, calling for a pizza. The moment when you just nervously pick up the phone and talk to a guy who just wants to go home and you want like three pizzas. It's pretty great. Now, of course, when it does come to pizza, we got to talk about the restaurants that do serve it. So to kick it off, Little Caesars. If there ever was a McDonald's of pizza, it would be this. They're fine, but for some reason, I'm a little weirdo and I like it cold. I don't know, man. The sauce just make me feel a little different. Honestly, not much else to say, but keep it up with the $5 pizzas. And I swear if you don't, I will come after you. Domino's! Really freaking fracking good. You should get the God Bites there. Just so good. And damn it, now I'm hungry. Papa John's! I actually haven't gone there yet, so nothing else to say along with Papa Murphy's. Me and Ed's. Now listen, I'm not saying that they took my name and used it for a restaurant or anything like that, but I believe that they did. In all seriousness though, the pizza is really good actually, and I even want a plushie one of those like big claw machines, so big win there. Pizza Hut. Just, no, 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 not worth it, not worth it. Now, just like burgers, there are more places to talk about, such as Hungry Howie's and Costco? Costco's got pizza? Well, damn, I didn't know about that. So, anyways, that should be all. Man, I really hope I didn't miss nothing. I mean, pizza and burgers are the most major fast food places, so I thought I'd talk about those. Though it would be a shame if I did actually miss something. <laughs> Why does it smell so American all of a sudden? Did you talk about our crunchy fried chicken yet? Oh god, not you. No, I have not, Colonel Sanders. Well, you need to get right out and talk about our crunchy fried chicken. Yes, I know. <sighs> fried chicken. I actually kind of forgot about this. Now, I wouldn't put chicken in a fast fast food tier, though it's more of like a dinner thing, but there's a few restaurants to talk about, so I'll quickly go over them. KFC pretty good, but their chicken heads are really, really good. Popeyes also pretty good, but their biscuits are so dry, I almost died once. Chick-fil-A, I do not want to mess with Chick-fil-A. Wingstop, technically not a chicken place. It's a wing place, obviously. I haven't tried it yet, but I want to go there sometime. <gasps> and that should be all of them. At least all the major fast food areas. So, that should wrap up today's video. So, I kind of don't have much to say other than... Well, um, I hope you guys had a good start of the year. I kind of didn't, but hey, we're now. And uh, I'm kind of sorry that this video took quite a while to make, at least like a month. Um, I didn't really mean that to happen. But hey, as long as that this video is released and you guys are watching it, then that's all that matters. So anyways, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Give it a thumbs up. Subscribe. Well, subscribe to our so you do don't miss a post. <laughs> and I will see you guys in the next video. See ya.